treatment for ALL um, always consists of chemotherapy, which is medication that we use to treat cancer. And sometimes it also includes radiation therapy, which is x-rays that we use to treat cancer. The chemotherapy can be given in lots of different ways. Uh, much of it's given IV, intravenously, um, but some of it's given by mouth or orally. And uh, some of it is given as injections into the muscle. And we also have to give some as injections into the spinal fluid um, so that we make sure that we treat the central nervous system as well. Um, parents, um, when they hear about this, often think about the challenges of, of getting all of this medication into their children, and we appreciate that. And um, we've worked very hard to find ways to ensure that we can do this as comfortably as possible and as consistently and safely as possible, too. Um, so that, um, for example, even the medications that young children have to take by mouth, we work very hard to make sure that they're able to do that consistently and that it's not too burdensome on the family. And for the, um, for the more difficult things like medication into the spinal fluid, um, we often will use some sedation or anesthesia to make sure that that's done comfortably. So we work very hard with the, with the family and the child to, to do this in the way that works best for them. The decision about radiation therapy really depends on the child and the child's leukemia, and, and so we have to make that decision on an individual basis.